As band members, they are notoriously not keen on interviews, say no a lot. We've lost the one Mumford. There's only one, and he's gone. Now there's Ted Duane, Ben Lovett, Winston Marshall, and finally bringing up the rear, Marcus Mumford. Together, they decided they would talk to us about this place and this park. Fancy meeting a youth here. <laughs> so what's great about us, like a, a relatively small place like the town of Simcoe is that not many people have been here. So people will be excited to go and explore a town they've not been to before. And I know this is like a town where there's a big rural community coming in here. A lot of farmers are all around it, like Norfolk County. But it's, it's like it's going to towns and meeting people. That, that's what we love. And that's what we're trying to share with, with fans and people coming to the show, um, rather than just being in a field in the middle of nowhere. Welcome to uh, day two of the stopover in Simcoe. The whole spirit of making music that we have sort of been attracted to in England and America has been one of like, just like engagement and involvement. And that's really more what this event is about, to be honest. You know, like all the bands that are playing, generally friends of ours. And um, we're really just kind of trying to create an environment of inclusivity, you know, make it feel like a really warm and welcoming place for the bands and for you know, all the people who come. After talking to these people and seeing what they've been through, you know, economically, um, they see this less as a music event than they do as... A celebration you guys, of the area. Yeah, a celebration, but also a helping hand that they did not expect. They did not expect four guys from London to come and give them a lift. But, so, um, I think, to be clear, like we didn't set this up as a charitable exercise. We set it up just to have fun and play music. We didn't set it up as a big money maker either, you know, like, if we wanted to make money, we'd go and play in a city, you know, consistently for a week or whatever. But, you know, like, I think what, what we did set out to do from the very beginning was not, like, come into a small town, rape and pillage, and then leave. Like, part of the sort of ethos of these stopovers is to come into towns and leave something behind. Something that, like, We're leaving doesn't... behind centuries of British tradition. <laughs> <laughs> I think the, uh, the amazing, amazing level of commitment that people have shown, like we were talking to this guy James, he's the master brewer at the Blue Elephant, which is the local brew house, and he, he hand canned four and a half thousand cans of Pilsner, two at a time. Like, he poured the beer in, put the lid on it, and then that was one, and then did that four and a half thousand times. Like, that goes way beyond being like, oh yeah, we like Mumford Sons, I'd love those guys to come. Like, the, the people really have committed, and that's just one example of yeah. hundreds of people have done amazing work here. So what we love about touring is, is seeing how the community works, seeing how it, every, every town is different, every has got a different pulse, a different time signature. God, bless. that's fucking cheesy. <laughs> <laughs> this is our, our opportunity to like, like, this is what Simcoe, this is what Norfolk County is about, you know? We were pretty sure that we wanted people to benefit from it. Beyond just like having a human experience and meeting some people and listening to music, we're just musicians and, and we're very aware of our limitations. So, but we're also aware that like, actually there can be a really positive thing that comes out of this for the communities that we come to and, and then for people who come to the show and have an experience that, you know, like might benefit their lives. Like that's, that's great. Do you sometimes in encourage them in a way? I mean, you don't have to yeah. loan your name or your logo to a beer or wine. Yeah. But you know, we, we encourage them for the, the purpose is is to share. It's about sharing and so look, this is what we do over here in this town. That's why we encourage it. So we absolutely do encourage it. We encourage yeah. all these lo local companies to, to give and, and, and get involved in the event because it enriches the whole experience. Yeah. So absolutely we encourage it. We think it's brilliant. Yeah. And it's and it's, it's sad entrepreneurship as well, isn't there? Like we don't tell the ten year old girl just down this street here to how to set up her lemonade stall. And we don't. Yeah, one girl was selling um, her like old DVDs. In, right. uh, like, it was like a yard set. Yeah, we're not going to shut it down, but we certainly <laughs> did a map out of all of those different things. I think I did there. actually put in a request for <laughs> second-hand DVDs. And we'd heard of bands that go to towns that like then take a cut from the local gas station because they're saying we're bringing tens of thousands of people into your town. We'd like a cut of the gas. 
And we were like, when we heard that, we were like... Off, we might be into that. <laughs> <laughs> but we were like, that's so, like, it's great, because it really helps define exactly what we don't want to do. Like, that's just exactly what we don't want to do, you know? It was the people, absolutely. It was the, the primary thing. It was amazing. Yeah. Everyone was really um, engaging, smart, fun, um, and passionate. There's a lot of passion in this county, a lot of it. And everything, be it the tobacco, the wineries, the brews, um, the hotels, the restaurants, it's just like people are proud of the place, and that's what we want. We, we like that. It's something about that that's really um, magnetic. I think. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Take yeah, care, cheers. guys. Thank you. Thank you. Have fun. Thanks. Cheers. Thank you. Yeah. Cheers, guys. All right.